Hey guys, it's OX83 here. I'm going to be showing you how to make distance ESP. Uh, it's pretty simple. We're going to be getting the part uh, from the workspace or whatever that you want to use. For today's example, I'm going to be using the player humanoid and I'm going to be um, measuring the distance from the camera into the humanoid root part from using magnitude. But before I get into the video, I'm going to show you how to get the code for today's video from link with ties. So once you guys click the link in the description right now where you guys want to download the script but for this I'm just gonna be using one of my old links and de demonstrating and using as an example but once you're here it's gonna look exactly like this all you're gonna do is press free access with ads and you're gonna do as what it says I have an ad blocker so I wanna go turn that off right now and what you're gonna do is pause in all sites and I'm literally just going to reset or reset my uh, thing, the browser. And we're going to come into here. What we're going to do is wait for these five seconds to go by. You can look around here, check anything else that interests you at all. Um, and then you're going to come here and then you're going to click an article or a topic or whatever you want. And you come here, whatever you want. But one, you can come out of that and then you can continue to your script and it should bring you to whatever you want or it should pop up as a code that comes on the screen or it's like a download but yeah this is how you do it All right, the four variables that we're going to need is of course the camera to start it off with always using camera to make ESP we're going to get the current camera that we're going to be using next is of course players again I'm making these variables whatever name I want so I'm just making it very simple I guess next would be local player, I name it LP, I use PS from players and local player to get my local player from players um, we will be using run service so I'm gonna get the service from run service pretty sure that's how you do it alright so now we're gonna create a function we can make a local function right here and I'm gonna call it let's call this get distance um, from camera uh, let's just call this a thing or a part or anything that you want um, we're gonna return a value so we're gonna do part dot position minus camera the camera C frame position so I'm pretty sure you could just do P like that, but I'm just going to be more specific with you guys. Um, and then we're going to do magnitude at the end, which is calculating it using studs, I'm pretty sure. Once we have this done, we're going to go make uh, where he gets all the players from players. So we're going to do PS get players do if p does not equal our local player then we're gonna add a function right after so basically this is um, not including our local player right here so we don't have the ESP on ourselves you could if you want but I recommend not and then here we're gonna do player added so any player that's been added into the game uh, it will also run the function that we're about to put into here so the function that, we're, that I'm talking about is it's catching the player that's been added some call this p added and the the thing here the, with the player that's going to be being used so we're going to check if the player has a character already and if it does we're going to also create another local function here which starts the ESP so I'm going to name this ESP for P is for players and CR I'm going to name it for character just like that two ends here so if there is a character here right we want to do ESP dot P no P for player and then P character for uh, character right here 
works like that. Oh, and here, don't forget, once uh, we do get the players, we want to start the player added function here. So we want to do P like that. Um, we also wanted to do it here as well in the player added uh, connection here. So once you've done that, once you've done this, what I've did, you want to also get if the character has been added to the current player function CR. So CR would be the character that's been added, and we're going to do ESP dot P P um, comma CR, and we're going to have to put a parenthesis here because it is a connection function. So once we've done this, we're going to start the ESP finally. But before we do that, I'm going to name more variables here. Um, I'm going to get the the character, right? And I'm going to do wait for child humanoid. So I'm going to be making this variable already access to the humanoid. Wait for child is just basically waiting for the child with the humanoid and it will be already there. I'm going to name this HRP for humanoid root part which we will be using to place the text on. Again, you can place it on wherever you want. It could be the player or a part or anything that's on the workspace and position it there. Every other part has a position so yeah. So HRP I'll do humanoid root part. Spelled it wrong. Okay there we go. Once we have that I'm going to make this variable called text and what I'll be using is snaps API for drawing and here I'm going to be named this drawing.new which is we'll be using text. I'm just going to copy this and first thing we're going to do is visible equals false because we don't want the text to show. I'm going to make the center true because why not. The outline true because why not it looks a little better. You can see the text. Um, the font, I can, I'm going to use one or two. It doesn't matter but I like two a little bit more. Um, the color which we do color I'm pretty sure we could do color actually no color uh, no one 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 that's like easier we're making the color white but you can also do from RGB and then do two five two like all like that um I think oh yeah we have size right after so size 13 is my favorite size for this font. Um, okay, so once we have this, we want to have connections. So I'm going to do C1 and C2. And by the way, if you will be using it on a player, you also want for the health to be checked. So, um, so if you're going to be doing it on a part, like an item ESP type thing. Um, you don't have to have a third connection, which would be the it would be checking the health because a part uh, an item doesn't have health unless if you're like destroying it, I don't know. Or whatever, but you understand. C three. I'm just gonna be doing this on a player for today. Um let's do C one for now. So let's use RS for render step. I mean, fuck. we run service right here. We, we will be using render step. This is a loop that we are creating for uh, this thing to be running. So once we're here, we're going to make a, another variable here, which is the HRP pose, which is humanoid root part pose. And then after that, we'll, this will be checking on screen hrp os which we on screen um we are going to get the camera here world to viewport point and then i'm pretty sure we could just do hrp position so world to viewport point again this vector 3 this 3d position here world to viewport point converts it to uh 
2 d which you can uh which places it on the screen so what we're gonna do here now is if if the humanoid root part is on the screen, then we're gonna do text position equals vector two because again it's a two d object that we converted to for on the screen right so we're gonna do h r p pose dot x and hrp pose dot y we only need x and y and then we're going to be doing the text which we'll be doing uh, soon I just want to get over this real quick text visible equals true because it's on your screen right then we're going to do else and then we're going to basically take this and we're going to make it false because it's not on the screen right so if it's not on the screen it comes here on else and it makes it false we're going to end it like that and then end the connection and close it off from the connection like that so in the text what you're going to want to do here is you want to of course make it a string and then you want to math.floor once you have math.floor what we are going to do is call this function right here which is get distance right and what we are going to do is call it hrp here because that's the part that we're going to be using and it gets the position and then uh, gets the magnitude here and I'm pretty sure it's just like that um yeah I think that's literally it that's how you get the, the studs or the, the distance now let's make a um, connection to so this is when it like is gone from the uh, what do you call it so let's say the character is being uh, moved to a different area in the workspace so this is just checking if it's that if that's happening the ancestry is, is, has is, has been like changed so if the ancestry has been changed we're gonna get connect function and then we're gonna do this this parent okay if not parent then it's gonna call a function here which will we which will we be doing right now actually we're gonna call this DC right and when we're disconnecting right we want the visible the the text of like we want the text to be uh, false because of course we're gonna be disconnecting we want it to be removed and here we're gonna be removing it and we're gonna do if C1 right if it equals anything because this is already nil. if C1 then we're gonna do C1 disconnect and c1 equals nil now from here right we want it to do for the rest of the connections so we're going to paste this twice more and then put c2 here and then put the c3 being lazy lazy code why not all right anyways back to ancestry we're going to name this c dc if it's not parent Now let's make C3, connection 3. So this is checking the health. So I'm grabbing H, which is humanoid health. Now it's getting the the function connection if the health has been changed from the humanoid. And we're going to do something like this. And I'm going to name this V for now for the value. Now we could do like this. V, if if the value of the health is less than or equal to zero or we can get we can get the state of the humanoid right if it equals a num humanoid uh, I'm pretty sure it's state type humanoid state type dead 
then we're going to disconnect it as well. Just like that. And I'm pretty sure we have the script done right now. I'm going to go test right now. Okay, apparently it does work. As you can tell, as we get closer, to them, the number decreases. Now, I'm going to be showing you how we can add like a name to it. So what we can do now is we can add a name to make it look nicer. So we could do p.name dot dot. Those two dots separated. Now what we can do is make something like this where it's separating um, like it separates the name from uh, the thing, the distance. So we're going to do something like this. And then we're going to do dot dot here too as well. And then we're going to basically do dot dot here as well. And we're going to do the same here. But you could do st for studs or ms for uh, meters, I think. But I like to do meters because it looks like, I don't know, something like nicer. So it's going to show the name here dot dot which is just adding another text I guess um, it's gonna um, make it spaced out a little bit and then a parentheses and then the number here and then space and then meters that's literally all it does let's go test that right now as you can see it does work you can see the name with the with the distance on it right there completely works but yeah if you guys enjoy this video like it share it subscribe if you want do whatever you guys want you know but yeah have a good day